magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ngayon ay magkakaroon tayo ng orientation sa isang subject na inyong kukunin ngayong semester, ang Hydrometeorology. Bago ang lahat, magpapakilala muna ako sa inyo. I am Henderson C. Sanchez and I will be your instructor for this semester for Hydrometeorology. So nakapagtapos ako ng degree na BS Mathematics sa CLSU noong 2016. At aking nakuha ang degree na MS Meteorology sa UP Diliman noong 2019. Ito naman ang mga courses na aking i-handle ngayong semester. Una ay ang Fisheries Meteorology ng BS Fisheries. Kalawa ang Hydrometeorology ng BS Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. At ikatlo ay Engineering Economy, BS Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. Okay. Ito naman ang aking official email address, henryson.sanchez at clsu2.edu.ph. So kung meron kayong katanungan o concern regarding sa ating subject, pwede nyo akong contactin via this email or you can also reach me via my Facebook page, facebook.com slash instructor. Dito naman, nagpo-post ako ng mga announcements regarding sa mga klase na i-handle ko this semester. Kaya kung ikaw ay estudyante ko this semester, it is better for you to like and follow the page para updated ka sa mga nangyayari sa ating klase. Okay, so next is course information. So this is Aben 3.4.10, Hydrometeorology. So, sino ba yung mga kumukuha ng klaseng ito sa so, mga estudyante ng Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering? So, different prerequisite subjects for this course includes Fluid Mechanics and Calculus 2. So, this is a three-unit subject. So, it is subdivided into two-unit lecture and one-unit laboratory class. Okay. Class hours per week. So, meron tayong two hours na klase sa lecture every week. And 3 hours naman every week sa laboratory. Okay. Ngayon, pupusit tayo naman sa course outline. Ito yung mga topics na i-discuss natin along the way. So, una is an introduction to hydrometeorology. So, pangalawa naman ay weather and climate. Next is precipitation. Followed by stream flow and stream flow hydrograph. Magdi-discuss din tayo all about evaporation and evapotranspiration. Susunodan ito ng groundwater. Tapos, susunod naman ang hydrometeorological instruments. Then, statistical treatments of hydrologic data. And lastly, we will do watershed delineation using GIS as a tool. Paano ko naman kayo gagrade sa klaseng ito? Para sa lecture class, assignments and problem sets ay equivalent sa 30% ng inyong grade. Meanwhile, yung quizzes naman ay 30% naman ng inyong grade. At ang exam, finally, is 40% of your grade for a total of 100%. How about for laboratory classes? So, ito naman yung way natin sa pag-grade sa laboratory classes. So, in total, we have 12 laboratory classes this, dito sa course na ito. Pero depende sa bilang ng matatapos nating laboratory exercise ngayong semester, mag adjust yan. Pero for the meantime, so 12 lang muna inilagay ko dito. So, each laboratory exercise is 8.33%. So, paano nakuha yan? 100% divided by 12. So, kung ilan yung matapos natin, yun lang din yung gagawin kong divisor sa ating sa 100% para makuha yung weight per laboratory exercise. Okay. So, this is how I will compute your final course average score. So, yung lecture average ninyo is worth two-thirds of your grade or 66.67% ng final course average score. Then, the laboratory average naman ay one-third ng inyong grade or 33.33%. So, depende kung meron kayong additional points, kung nirepresent kayo yung university, kaya lumaban ka, kaya meron ka, eligible ka for additional points, ilasama din natin yan sa computation. Pero, Depende yan. Nagpa-vary yung 
na amount of points na yan. So, grading system. So, ito yung grading system na gagamitin ko para sa inyo. And, passing grade is 50%. So, if your grade is falls down in the interval 40 to 49.99, ang grade mo ay 4. Kailangan mo mag-removal muna bago ka pumasa. Pag hindi ka pumasa, sa removal exam, ay ibig sabihin, kailangan mong ulitin ang course na ito. At grade below 40, you failed the subject. Okay, yun lamang. Let us all have a fruitful semester, everyone. And sana manatili tayong ligtas sa COVID-19. Magandang araw uli sa inyong lahat.